Well, happy. Here we are at Papa Soletsky's first fitting, sitting. And there's Louise and her handiwork. We've been at it for half an hour. Exactly half an hour. So far, she's pinching my cheeks. Looks remarkably like him already. What's mommy doing? Come have a look. Very exciting. Come on. Come along. Then. First, pull up your pants. <laughs> it's 11.30 on March 16th, and it is spring break. So I'm home videotaping Grandpa's first sitting for his bust. Will it, will it be called a bust that you're doing, Louise? Mm -hmm. mm. Here's your last piece. Mm -hmm. What's this woman's name? Uh, I don't know. Eleanor. Eleanor. Mm. Just looks like Eleanor. There's the piece you did before that. Tricks. No, I'm not. What I'm making a horse. It's a small a hill. You're making horse. a horse. A horse. Yeah, I know. I'm making a pony horse. A pony horse. It's a little one. What are you making it out of? It's butter. No. What is it? Is is some milk in there? It's no. cheese. Yes. It's not milk. Is that cheese that you're working with. You can have this and shot. and what are you making, mommy? I am making a portrait of my father. Don't you know it's his birthday coming up? <laughs> his birthday coming up. Yes. Well, it's March 17th today. March 17th, we've got a few days to get something going that looks like Dad. I've actually got two weeks because I want this to look like something by the time Dad's having his big party. And the big party is on the 27th. 27th. We've got 10 days. What are those men doing? Those men in your clay. Can they breathe? No, they can't. They're stuck in this paddle. They can't walk. Great grommy. Well, already it looks a little bit more like Grandpa. And how long has it been? Half an hour. So this is the end of the sitting. How long has it been now? Well, we had a short break, but it's been about two hours with some break, with a couple of breaks in there. Just going to try and get the mouth going a little bit better before we break for the day. Look at these children. What hard workers they are. Oh, now I'm going to ride You'll have to make a portrait of them one day. They're such good hard workers. <laughs> Boys and bikes. What's your bike called, Ben? Racer Dan. How old is Lauren now? 
Mm-hmm. Almost nine months. Wow. She'll be nine months in five days. Nine oh. months in, nine months out. Well done, girl. Nine months in, nine months out. Where's Uncle Greg? Say bye-bye. Say hi. 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 You don't have to leave you anything. And I don't have to eat you up. No. But the lions eat their little ones up. No. But I won't eat you up. Why don't eat them? I'll only eat your food. Are there any such thing as 80-year-old lions? Oh, there are 80 years lions. This lion is 80 years old. You're not, Easily. A, you're not a lion, Grandpa. I'm a lion. <laughs> no, no. I'm lying. I'm not lying. I'm just lying. No. Yes, yes, yes. I'm lying. Not sure. Help yourself. There's plenty downstairs. Grandpa, you're gonna get in trouble. I'm. I'm getting in trouble. Uh, With whom? Don't kick the table. It will upset all the plates. Everyone come. Thank you. Now, Greg, Louise, you can look forward to a day when you will be grandparents around the table watching your grandchildren like this. This is the morning after Grandpa's 80th birthday party. And she's still alive and kicking and full of beans. Oh, 
And I brought that song to the camp from memory and transcribed it and we wrote English words for it and incorporated it in a musical play. <coughs> so it has a special meaning. It is a part of the creativity that Where was that in Hong Kong? In Hong Kong in the Pretty Camp. What's that? You already found all those? Boys, boys, what I day is it today? It's Easter? And no, what? it's Daddy it's <laughs> Daniel, I've had a, I have a little bit more than you, right? You have more. Yes, you definitely have that. You don't have to stress it. You don't have to bully other people to tell them I'm better. Well, Dad, yeah, you know, I also have to find some more. Yeah, we'll find some more. Okay, boys, where are the jelly beans? Um, then I'll show you. Yeah, over here. Over here, Dad, over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's some. There's some. Yeah. There's some. I'll always have more than you. Because I'm a better fighter. But Benjamin was up at an hour before everybody else. No, I got to me. What time was that? I don't know. I think I. But about a quarter to seven. You were up a quarter to seven. Well, it's, it's 8 o'clock now. We all sprung forward. The band hand was almost at the center. It's only like that. It's touching the mm -hmm. seven. And where was the little hand? Filming in the wrong. And look what. Can we have one of these? Can we have one? Well, yes, that's one for you and one for Danny. Oh, yes, yeah, some of them are ours and some of them are. Hey, whose is this? Then? That's God's, that's playing God's.
Are you eating? Noodle. Well, let's talk to Daniel for a sec. What are you eating, Daniel? No Sweet potato starch noodles? And where did most of them go? Are you falling asleep? And I also know Pokemon. He's another very good Pokemon. Where did most of your noodles go? And what are you eating for, for dinner, Dan? Oh yeah, and there's also pincer. What are you eating for dinner, Ben? Popcorn. And have you ever had popcorn for dinner before? No way. Do you think you'll ever have it again? Maybe. <laughs> if he's lucky. Popcorn and blueberry Whose idea? juice. Whose idea was popcorn, Daniel? Me. Yo! <laughs> Daniel's not eating the popcorn, he's eating the noodles. He's eating so many noodles, he's going to pop just like the corn. Right, Daniel? Yes. Yes. Coke. Who's a Coke? Pop. I mean, somebody is pop is mommy. I'm pop? Yeah. Usually daddies are pop. What about hop on pop? Hop on pop. Hop and pop. <laughs> what are you looking at? What's his lap look like? It looks like a war zone. Yes, you. It's what you want. Be quiet. Wow, what did you make? A big block tower. A big man tower. Wow. Dad, could you please come over here? Daddy, please could you come over here? See it. Ow! Ooh. See? Don't, Daniel! Daddy, I'll build another, okay? Okay. Alright! Good job, Pet! Daniel, and don't oh, knock it down this time! I won't. Because we're trying to videotape. Mm. Don't knock it down! I won't do it again next okay. week. You uh, won't? Not yes. next week? He, I think I think he'd like to. He'd like to help. Why can't he help? I just need a turn. Okay, now you can help. Okay, you can give him a turn to put a block on. Daniel, okay, Daniel, you try. Okay. No. You can tell him where you'd like to put it. Yeah, but he. I just I just need to pause it for a moment. Daniel, no, not like that. Like that. Oh. And then we put one like that. Put it in the order that these two are. Like do 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 do. Like that. Yes. Daniel, can I please put this on? It's getting, it's, because it 
Okay, cause it, cause I can make them bigger than you. But they some, they can get bigger. That's it, Daniel. You you can pick them up, and Benjamin can put them down. Daniel, don't stop playing them. And bam! I'm bam. Look what you've done. He don't he, put those on he me. He didn't yet. do that. I want to. Don't put them on me. Daniel says, please. Okay, Daniel, now you can put those two on. No. There. But I know I need to put these on. It's getting wiggly now. It's getting yeah, hard. It's really getting tough. It's getting tough. Now this time, then, don't knock it down. Whoa. It's big. It's very big. What are you going to do with it if you're not going to knock it down? I want you to videotape it. I am. How big is it? Almost as tall as me. Tall as you? Almost. Almost. And what do you call it? Mega Might. Mega Might. Mega Might! Don't do it! Don't, Daniel, don't fight. Mega Might! You're gonna Don't fight it, stop! No, 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 no! Mega Might! No, 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 no! What are you guys going to do? What are you guys going to do now? Daniel, tell me. What are you going to do? Daniel, don't touch it. Bedroom? No, him do. Why should Ben go to his bedroom? Because he's a naughty boy. He is? No. Are you a naughty boy, Ben? No. You're not? So, will you go to your bedroom? No. I want to go watch the TV that we just taped. <laughs> We're not going to. Daniel? Why? Are you a naughty boy? Yes, he is. Daniel, are you a naughty boy? He knocked that down. He's not telling me yes or no. Tell me, are you or aren't you? <laughs> So, are you a naughty boy or are you not a naughty boy? No. He's not a naughty boy. He is a naughty boy for knocking that down. Well, I think maybe you should just build another one. No. I'm this time, I'm going to win it and I'm going to get it. Get your pet. Quit it. Get out of power. Daniel, this time, I'm going to go up. I'm going to break it. Dip, I'm going to break it. Last time you broke it. Daniel, did you break it last time? Yes, he did. Daniel? What? Did you break it last time? Did you? I'm going in there. You're going in there. Well, yeah. there's another box of blocks. Why don't you make those blocks? Or would you rather build... Well, that thing doesn't build as high towers. It's much... Oh, this can do it? Uh, Dan. Daniel, you can make towers with those blocks. I'll agree with you. We could add those, Dan. That's way too short. Look, if you drop, Dan, we'll put that way up on the top. Put those way up on the top. No, Daniel. Well, you tell them where you'd like to put it. Daniel, want to see what happens? Doesn't work, does it? See, it doesn't work. You learn something new every day, don't you, Daniel? Daniel was caught throwing blocks. So now he's dead. Chris Cross, <laughs> I bring you back to life. Didn't it work? Chris Cross, I bring you back to life. Now here's that, um, now here's the big masterpiece. Well, that is a big masterpiece. What do you call it?
Daniel, isn't that a masterpiece? Yes. Are you going to break it? No, don't break my masterpiece. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you should. Not Daniel, I'm gonna break it. Not Daniel, I'm gonna break it. Not Daniel, I'm gonna break it. No, not Daniel, I'm gonna break it. My masterpiece. My masterpiece. My masterpiece. This masterpiece starts at the bottom with two tall blocks. Slowly works its way up in a thinner body, rising up to a red neck and a white square block head. A masterpiece. Uh oh, but Daniel got poked in the eye. Why did you poke him in the eye? Did you purposefully poke him in the eye? No. It was a... a accident. It was an accident. It's my masterpiece, so I get to break it when I want to. Then I want... Mm, mm. No. Then I want to I wanna show you a, a special... Ben, ben, I think you ought to break it. Quick, Ned. Very good. Why are you upset, Daniel? That's right. <laughs> so goes life in the jungle and the parlor on a Saturday morning without TV. What are we going to do? We, we're going to remember this big thing forever. What are we going to remember? This big block tower I built. Really? Big block tower had been built. Yay. Yes. Who built it? going to last? Well, this whole day. Whole day? I don't think so. It's going to fall soon. Is it going to fall soon, Daniel? Why? Because I got a song later. You're going to break it? No, I'm not. I'm not either. Oh, well, I'm not either. I think Shannon's. Here's Louise all dressed up in her finery. Yes, <laughs> we went out to the vile cabaret this evening. And Greg looks very handsome too, but you just can't see him this way on the camera. <laughs> and there's Grandpa, who Grandpa has... Is quietly sitting at home, minding the babies. <laughs> after That's one o'clock, after one o'clock in the morning, <laughs> still the up. Quarter past one. For an old man, it's the old time, it's ready to go. Anyhow, I'm off. Tomorrow morning, I'll be off on my road, on my way by 9 o'clock. Well, you're you're skipping nice church. Yeah, you're, skipping church. You're skipping church and you're going where? I'm going, first of all, to Ashland. Then I'm going to Santa Rosa. Then I'm going to San Francisco. And then Santa Barbara. And on the way, I'm going to stray sideways to see Larsons. And they live on some little island. Larsons are friends from uh, Manzanilla. Mm -hmm. So it's, it sounds to be, it, it, it promises to be a fairly interesting trip. I'll also go to Palo Alto, because I have a couple of, several families of friends there. California, here, here I, I come. come. <laughs> and how was your evening? Lovely. It was a lovely. Hey, what were you singing to me again? Spider-Man! Spider-Man! Oh, what happened to you, Spider-Man? Keep singing Spider-Man, whatever happened.
That's okay, brother. Oh, okay, brother. Control! So this is your controls. Right. Hey, control! I can't move. I jammed you in the control one. Oh, rats. That's it. I'm taking another missile off. What happened? <laughs> oh, I missed. Got you this time. You can't see. I smashed your missile back. Oh, no. I can't see you. Iron Man. What do, how are you going to save him? The bubbly chubby did it? I blasted it! I know. Look what I did. Oh. Rats. <laughs> Let's <laughs> scoop this one. And bottom in. And he was inside. And he did blow fast. And he looked all ahead. And now they got the bottom. That is loud. Thank you, handsome Spider-Man, for singing that great song. Thank you, brother. Oh, I think he's a very handsome fellow over there. <laughs> hey, dude. Oh, are you fainted? Hey, I'm his boss. Uh-oh, the boss is here. I'm going to have to oh, get no, the boss. Oh, no, brother, how you <laughs> oh. The Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Pretend it was a ball, and then it goes flattens out. Mommy, mommy. Now he's caught in the web. Uh, if I don't, Superman has mommy, to get him out. Can you give me a web? No. Superman has to get him out. Give me a web now. He a sends web? it back. They, 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 do it. they fire the missile torpedo, send it back. Thank you, Mom. So my father made. Look what I did. Oh no. You have a wiggly too? Yeah. Can you wiggle it? Oh, it's wiggly. Yeah, what are you going to do? Dead Ben? I'm going to try and pull it out with a string. With a string? With a piece of dental floss? Yes. Ben doesn't wants to put it on so it will come out. So we'll have to try and get that in there. Going to put a piece of dental floss on there? Yeah. I've never done that before. Really? This is the way I always did it. Yeah, my father always did it with pliers. Oh, well, that's probably a good way to. Well, you don't can't do it yourself well, with pliers. I can't. I can't uh, do it without a slip knot, Ben. I always needed a slip knot. Yeah, I, I, that's what I wanted, the slip knot. Okay, make a slip knot. Okay, I'm making a slip knot. And have I done it the right way around? And yeah, what'll sorry. happen with your tooth? It it will come out maybe. And then what? <laughs> Put it under your pillow. Yeah. What's the tooth fairy bringing the other kids in your class? Money. How much? Uh, I don't know. You gotta yank it yourself. Come on, that's it. Give it a tug. Don't tug out. <laughs> it's not. It's not coming. Not coming. Out. It's not coming. You're not pulling hard enough, or maybe it's not ready. Not ready. Not ready. Oh, yikes! It looks like it's nearly out there, hun. Look at that. There's not much of that tooth left in. Oh, there's a little bit of blood, though. What do you think? You want to keep trying? I'm gonna take a little break. It's here. 
That's your ugly tooth? Yes, I'm your cousin now. Is it going to come out? Yes, it is. Your first tooth. <laughs> Here it comes. It's coming. It'll be out in no time. Is it out yet? It's almost out. It's out. It's out. Don't swallow it. <laughs> <laughs> there it is on the floor somewhere. It's lost. There's the hole. Ta da! And there's the tooth in all its grotesque finery. All the things that happened to you while I he's been away. You got some new swimming goggles. And what? How old are you today? Your sixth day. Why? Because what? So what is the date? From now on, you cut the grass. <laughs> Father doesn't cut the grass anymore because you're now grown up. You cut the grass. You chop the wood. You carry the water and do all the heavy work in the house. No. <laughs> What's the date today? Date. Date. Oh, the date. What month and what number? Never mind, Mammy. Oh, it's May. It's what M. May. What number? May. Mommy. Mommy. I'm at yeah. the tower this You don't morning. have to spell it. We're not asking you to spell it. Just say. It's May 15th. 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 <laughs> and what about show Grandpa your teeth? <laughs> oh my goodness, such a big gap. <laughs> such a big gap. He's I missing want... two teeth. Yeah, I lost two. All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. My two front teeth. My two front teeth. Have you heard that song? <laughs> yes, there's a song like that. And there's one more thing, Ben. And one more thing that you have. What were we doing early this morning? Bike riding. Bike riding, And yes. I And I took my training wheels off. Oh, so you've grown up now. Yes, he can, he can go, we go all through the neighborhood and without and any training wheels on. Now, that's what I call achievement. <laughs> what, what, Daniel? But Grandpa, oh, he wants guess what's jeans. inside oh this? Grandpa, guess what's inside <laughs> this? Are you going to get bigger, Daniel? Yes. How big? Grandpa, taller than you. Taller than me? Look, How these, big? These little things were in that car. Bigger and you and Ben. What are they? They were in the car. Bigger and Ben. Bigger than Ben? What is this? A, a little um, shooter. Yeah. How old will you be in two weeks, Daniel? Five? <laughs> wow. Up into the sky. Yeah. One, um, one, two, three. How many? How many is that? One. One? Then? <laughs> hey, what's going on down there? What's going on down there? Okay, let go, let go, please. Everyone let go. Now I've got the bear. No tackling. Oh, another. Another casualty. Maybe, maybe we should end this game before anyone dies. Pass it. Me, me, who gets it? Quick, pass it. It's Benjamin's birthday, sixth birthday, and they're playing catch Rupert. We've just finished playing pass the parcel, where they, where they, uh, we're having cake soon.
Cake. Yeah? Cake, cake, cake. Oh, cake, cake, okay. Cake. Well, anyway, we just had a water balloon toss. Cake. And, uh, 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 now we're going to have cake. And we also had, what else did we do just now? Cake! We went to the woods for a treasure hunt. No, uh -huh. cake! Now cake. Yes, okay, good. Cake what? Cake, please! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Benjamin and Aaron, be nice. Happy birthday, dear Daniel. Very good. Happy birthday to you. Very good. You know, I, it's because I helped Daniel. Na, 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 na. Does it look good? Oh. <laughs> Louise makes good cakes. Uh, hey, hey, Jessica, Jessica, how old is Daniel? How old are you, Jessica? Jessica? How old are you, He's Jessica? Two. Can I take some? I said, Jessica. Are you Louise? Hey, Dad. Are you two? Watch some ketchup off Daniel's face. I don't know. I'll try. I said, Jessica, take number one. Number two. Number two. Are you number one? What number are you? Oh, that's good. Number two. I'm scared of the pig right now. Daniel? You need to make a wish. What do you wish for? You wish for some cake. I think that was going to be very practical, young fellow. A very practical. <laughs> he wishes no need for... they can realize, right? That's right. Okay. You get the first piece because you're the birthday boy. Yes. Yes. I'm the birthday boy. That's right. This is your day, Daniel. Oh, yours. and what kind of cake is this, Daniel? Banana cake. Mm. This is your special day. It's banana cake. Right. Your special day. You can watch the cake and you can Daniel has the first piece. So cool. oh, oh, my birthday boy. boy. <laughs> my birthday boy, you sure are. They want you? Is that about the right size for people? Or for That's yourself? fine for me. Yes. This is my second Thank round of cake. I'll, I'll pass it along. Oh. Mom, here's your cake. Oh, well, there's always seconds. Excuse me. Happy birthday, Daniel. It's better for me for work Happy because birthday, Daniel. he can heal parts and get from, granny. The, from there. That dark <laughs> stuff on the top. His lips <laughs> Daniel, again. What's the matter with this cake here, Daniel? Oh, Jessica, what's happening Because he, when he got brown on it. He got brown? Brown, huh? that's the banana in there. No, she want, he know what he wants. Mm -hmm. More icing. Do you, do you want, do you want this kind top. of brown? Ah. <laughs> yes. You see, that's ah. what he's looking for. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, here you go. You can have my yeah. chocolate sprinkles. He doesn't want a vertical cut. He wants a horizontal cut. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have one either? Oh, I'll find you one right here. No, there's one right there. No, this one. Okay, go right ahead. Is that some nuts and almonds? So, Louise, I know you have my piece where I'm on TV. Look what Benjamin's are, bringing. I'm actually collecting family stuff like that. So I'm doing a whole series for a shaw cable. Oh, good Oh, it would be nice to have you. Sure. Ben's bringing a chair for his mum. Very still, nice of you. How many people watch? What a nice guy. Story. Seymour listening. Yeah. Seymour listening. 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 Seymour
And soupity berries. And what kind of berries? Soupity berries. Soupity berries? Yeah. Oh, I don't know that kind. <laughs> That's a new kind. And um, is there any other kinds of berries? Oh, I'm sure there's lots of different kinds of berries. But anyway, huckleberry. Huckleberries. Twinkleberry loved them all. <laughs> Well, one day, Twinkleberry had been eating so many berries that he was about as fat as the biggest, plumpest strawberry that you ever saw. <laughs> and he could hardly... How big can they get? No, quite round. <clears throat> about, hmm, bigger than a walnut. Bigger, hmm, maybe as big as an apricot. Maybe as big as a small apple, if you got the biggest one. Anyway, he was round as round as round he could be. And his hard little feet could just barely Woody, touch the ground. small apples are only like this big. And his little feet could <laughs> barely touch the ground. And it was making his tummy sore to try and get home and scrape himself through the berry patch to get back into his little hole. So he decided to take a nap under a strawberry leaf. Well, he hadn't been there very long when Kishy Kishy Mishy started thought that she might like to take a nap in the strawberry patch too. And she came sauntering along. But her favorite for place sunny. is in the front yard, not the back. No, no, she has a place that she likes right down there by the rose by the right down by the rose bush there. Where the strawberries are. So she was on her way there when she smelled mouse. Hmm, she said, a mouse? I'm almost 20 years old and I haven't smelled mouse for a long time. I think I might like to play with a mouse today. Well, oh dear, dear, that was bad luck for Twinkleberry. But it is lucky that Kishi was 20 years old because she wasn't as fast as she once was. And as she was prowling, crunch, 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 rustle, 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 through the berry patch, Twinkleberry woke up and went, Eek! And he squeaked a loud squeak because he saw a big black furry nose right in front of him and he started trying to run through the strawberry patches and those little tummy was going boing, boing, <laughs> boing, backwards and forwards. And he's trying to run. He could have thrown himself at the cat. He could have thrown himself at the cat. Yeah. <laughs> and like, wow. And he <laughs> found the wooden beam that separated the, the flower garden from the <laughs> strawberry garden. And he ran along that as fast as he could. And then he fell off and bounced on his big round tummy and fell down a hole. In his hole? No, it wasn't his hole. It was the hole belonging to Mr. Mole. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, oh, Perry was panting. <gasps> and he thought, oh, an escape tunnel, how very convenient. <laughs> so he started crawling down the escape tunnel, but it was very, very dark in there, but big enough for him. And he crawled and he crawled and he crawled and he crawled until he came to another little creature in there. But it was so dark, he didn't know until he went bump, and he bumped right into Mr. Mole's nose. And Mr. Mole gave out a little shriek of surprise. <laughs> And oh, Twinkleberry said, oh, I'm so very sorry. Who are you? And they made introductions, and Twinkleberry told him all that had happened, and Mr. Mole was very sympathetic. And Mr. Mole said, well, if, if you would like to get back to your own hole in the straw, near the strawberry patch, you'll have to go through the house. But the only problem with the house is that there's two little children in there, and they might try catch you and keep you as a pet. And Twinkleberry said, Oh dear, two little children, are they nice little girls or nasty little boys? <laughs> and Mo said, I'm very sorry, but they're two nasty little boys. <laughs> they're not really so bad though. 
I've heard them playing and crashing, but I must warn you, they have many swords and many guns in that house. And there's especially a new one that they have that shoots little red plastic <laughs> sucker darts. <laughs> and if they get you with that thing, watch out. They'll shoot it onto your bottom and then pull you back on with a piece of string and then they'll put you in a jar and feed you cheese all day. Oh, yeah. Cheese? But don't they know I like berries? And they see the Mr. Mole said, well, you could maybe try and communicate by if they give you a pencil you could write on the side of the jar. But it's possible that they might not uh, figure all that out. Oh dear, said Twinkleberry. Okay, you got blueberries. <laughs> oh dear, said Twinkleberry. Oh dear, oh dear. But the mole said, don't worry, I have some secret weapons for you. So. What secret weapons? Well, they crawled to the end of the, of the mole hole and up into between the floorboards of the house. And there Mr. Mole <laughs> had a big pile of Smarties. <laughs> and Mr. Mole said, if you take one of these Smarties and throw it at the children, <laughs> they'll get so busy chasing it <laughs> that they'll forget all about you. <laughs> oh, said Twinkleberry. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Mole. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so he took as many well, Smarties as he could. Why didn't you make them girls? <laughs> Because there are no little girls that live in this house. I know, but this isn't our house. This is the mole's house. Ah, uh, well. I think I'll just keep the story as it is. No! <laughs> I'm cleaning up you. Oh, <laughs> Daniel. Okay, so they going through the house. And... Twinkleberry sees the big pile of Smarties, and he figures he can balance about three of them. <laughs> so he picks, up, he picks up three Smarties. How big are the Smarties? Oh, about like this. And he's got the Smarties, and he starts walking through the basement, trying to looking carefully to find his way. Out. Daniel, shush, shush, shush. Well, he hadn't gone very far when. He sees the two little boys playing in the basement. And they're playing with swords. <laughs> they were sword fighting. And Twinkleberry looked at them and fainted. <laughs> and the three little Smarties just rolled off his tummy. And the two little boys looked, heard a little squeak and looked over and saw this little mouse lying flat on his back and three little smarties <laughs> surrounding him and they said don't do that Benjamin that's very naughty um, <clears throat> and Twinkleberry was completely unconscious and the bigger boy <laughs> the bigger boy said look little brother here's a little mouse and it's got two smarties here <laughs> he said quickly eating one one for you and one for me <laughs> and they shared the Smarties. And the little brother said, But what about the mouse? Should we put him in a pot like the bird? Because <laughs> Mummy always puts little my little birds that are unconscious into a little pot to have the give them a little rest. But Ben said, I don't know what we should do. I know, said Ben. Let's decorate the dollhouse and we'll make him a nice little house with all his furniture and stuff in there. Let's do that. And Daniel said, yes, yes, yes. And they ran around and they collected little bits of toilet paper. How and big would the of... mouse to be to them? It's big. No! <laughs> mice are only like this big to people. Yes. Well, that's how big the mouse... Oh, how big is the furniture for the mouse? No, the mole. The, the mole. Oh, the mole is usually about this big. So, so, so they. So, how big would they be to to them? He thinks the children are moles. The children aren't moles, honey. The children is you and Daniel. I'm Daniel. Oh. I'm Daniel. You're Daniel, and you ran around and you got all the children's furniture. I thought furniture. you said the mole family. No, no, no. The big family. The big family of children upstairs who lived in the house. 
And they picked up Twinkleberry and they put him on a lovely little bed that they made and cut, put a lot of little tiny cushions and they put a little blanket on top of him and they went into the refrigerator and they picked out all of their favorite foods, which were candies and marshmallows and popsicles, and they put them all into the into the dollhouse, and little did they know that the popsicle would just melt there and make sticky dribbles all over the floor, but they were good-hearted, those little children. And when Twinkleberry woke up, he went, <laughs> and he fainted again. <laughs> he was so surprised to be in a dollhouse surrounded by candies and ch big children, because he, when he woke up, he saw two, four big eyes, two from Ben and two from Daniel, two dark brown ones and two bright blue ones <laughs> looking at him. And when he woke up again, he went, <laughs> and fainted again. <laughs> <laughs> and then he woke up again, and he saw the eyes, and went, <laughs> and fainted again. <laughs> and this went on and on and on <laughs> for about five minutes. <laughs> and then finally Twinkleberry woke up and stayed awake for a little bit longer and the bigger boy Benjamin said, don't worry little mouse, we won't hurt you. And but Daniel was just about to grab him in his chubby fist and give him a big kiss and Ben said, Daniel, I don't think you should do that. <laughs> oh, why not Ben, said Daniel. And Benjamin explain, explained about how frightened Twinkleberry might be. So <laughs> anyway, Twinkle, the upshot of it all was that Twinkleberry woke up and ate some candies and shared some more candies with the children and got a bit of a tummy ache and had to lie back down in the bed. And by the time he got up again from that, he was feeling quite at home and decided, you know, this dollhouse was really rather a lot nicer than his little hole in the ground and maybe he'd just like to stay here. So he tried communicating with the children about berries and the children, remarkably being children, and who are very sympathetic with animals when they want to be, understood exactly. And they went up into the freezer and they got some frozen blueberries and they brought them back down. And Twinkleberry thought they were just wonderful, only he wanted to have them on toothpicks so that they would be like real popsicles for him. So the children did that. <laughs> <laughs> and then they all decided to jump up and down on the bed. And so they took Twinkleberry, they showed Twinkleberry how to jump up and down. Add the a bed. trampoline. Add a trampoline. To the story. Well, they all thought that they would have a lovely time jumping up and down on the bed when Daddy came downstairs and said, Children, I've got something in the backyard for you. It's a surprise. <laughs> And the children said, what, what, what is it, Daddy, what is it, Daddy? And Benjamin grabbed Twinkleberry and stuffed him in his shirt pocket, and they all ran outside to the tramp, and there was a trampoline. And the children off jumped up and down on the trampoline, and Twinkleberry, who was in Benjamin's pocket, did he like it, or was he frightened to death? <laughs> you make it up! <laughs> well, Twinkleberry was very frightened, <laughs> and was screaming and screaming, <laughs> <laughs> and then he fell out of Benjamin's pocket and fell out onto the grass and thought and that he had quite, quite enough excitement for that day and the children liked the trampoline so much that they just kept on jumping and Twinkleberry decided he'd had so much excitement that maybe he did want to go home after all and he ran back into his hole and he decided he would live in his hole but he visited the children every day after that. That end. No, <laughs> that's not the end. End of chapter one. Chapter two. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, Do you like that story? Yeah, chapter two now. Chapter two now. No, I don't have. I don't have the energy for chapter two now. Mommy's got a bit of a cold. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. And don't just think about us, like. Get the house and the stars and everything. Like, get the whole thing. I will. Come a little bit closer.
on this harvest moon. Can everybody wave and say hello? Hello. Hi. Happy, anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Can't do it. Sorry. You're lucky. You're lucky. Happy, 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 happy anniversary. We could. Actually, we can do it. Yeah, okay. Happy anniversary. 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 Happy
Okay, translate. No. No, no I get paid in translating. I'm sorry. The castle lights are growing dim. There's no one left but me and him. him. Hello, Max and Nico. Hello, Hello, Max and Nico. Can't believe how Hello, much Max you've grown. <laughs> well, I just saw you a few months ago, so. Hi. Can you believe how old we are now? <laughs> Let's get a close up. Close up on Greg. <laughs> oh, close up on Greg. Let's see them remember you, Greg. Here, put the candle closer. Closer, okay. closer. Do you remember me from long ago? <laughs> Oh, 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 the cameraman's giggling at this camera. I thought you cut really soon from that. <laughs> oh, okay. all right. My Max, my Nico. <gasps> <laughs>
Here comes Daniel. Daniel and Ben. just where Bernie the beetle was born. Once upon a time there was a little beetle named Bernie and he lived, was born in the basement. And poor little Bernie he wandered around and around in the basement. He didn't know how to get out. And he wandered through the carpet one way and he wandered through the carpet the other way. But there was no way out of the basement. One day, as he was wandering around, a big teenage boy came stalking through the room. And Bernie the Beetle cowered in the corner. And the big teenage boy started lifting some heavy things. Clink, clunk, clink, clunk, clink, clunk. Hmm, said Bernie the Beetle, watching the big boy's muscles. He looks very strong. I should try that. Maybe I could get out of here. And when the big boy had finished his exercises, he went to the basement door, unlatched it, turned the knob, opened the door, and went outside. And Bernie said, Yes, he's big and strong and can open the door. If I lift those things, I'll be big and strong. I can open the door, too. So Bernie the Beetle went to work and marched right over to that weight set. It was really much too big for him. So instead of holding it up in the middle of the bar, he tried to lift it up at the side of, you know, just at the side there and lift it up one of the weights. <coughs> Try it again. Bernie thought he tried with a medium sized weight and he lifted. <coughs> oh, said Bernie, wiping the sweat from his brow. That is too heavy, too. So he went to the smallest weight and he lifted that up. <coughs> oh, he couldn't even lift the smallest weight. Hmm, said Bernie. He saw a popsicle stick on the basement floor. I'll try that. And he lifted the popsicle stick. <laughs> oh, I was too big for Bernie too. So, then there was a little toothpick on the floor. That, okay, 
This I can do. You grab the toothpick. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Fell over backwards. I did it! I did it! Bernie was so excited. And he picked up the toothpick. And he tried it again. <laughs> well, I worked out with that toothpick all afternoon. And by the next day, he was ready for the popsicle stick. And the next day, he picked up the popsicle stick. Whoa! <laughs> Fell over backwards. <laughs> and he tried it again. Load. And he went... And finally, he could lift the popsicle stick over his head. So then, after that, of course, he put the toothpick on the popsicle stick, and he tried building that, and his birdie's working away, and slowly, slowly finding other things in the basement to lift, and his little legs are developing little bulgy muscles. And he keeps working until he can lift the lightest weight. Did I mention that the teenage boy had dropped a power bar, a nutrition bar, in the basement? And while Bernie My was busy, oh, they've got raisins and nuts and seeds and all sorts of sweet things and stuff and feeling things and things that get you lots of energy. And he nibbling on that and lifting all of his muscles. And by the end of three weeks, Bernie could lift the biggest weight right over his head. And he was a strange looking beetle indeed. Very powerful, like a super beetle. Anyway, Bernie decided, okay, he was going to open that door. And he climbed up the wall. Boom, 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 boom. And he grabbed the door handle. And he tried to move it, but guess what? The door handle was too big for him to get his little arms around. Hmm, said Bernie. Maybe if I just hang here for a couple of days, I'll stretch. So, oops. <laughs> so Bernie hung from the door handle and tried to stretch. And while he was hanging there, he had another idea. He just stuck his legs against the door. He could turn the door handle. And as he was trying his hardest to do that, Whoa, boom, he fell off the door handle onto his back. And just as he did that, the big teenage boy came over, boom, boom, walking through the basement, turned the door handle, opened the door, and Bernie realized now is his chance. And he ran out into the backyard. Well, Bernie was a strange looking muscly be beetle by then. But he was young and inexperienced and didn't know the ways of the world. But he knew when someone, oh look there's a moth up there. Look Daniel, see that pretty moth? It's orange. Get it. Get it. What do you mean, get it? Oops. It's coming to get me. <laughs> Where did yeah. it go? It flew down here somewhere. Flew down me and then, and then flew and off. And flew off again? Oh, there, there he is. Anyway, Bernie the beetle was crawling through the garden when he heard a voice yelling, Help! 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 And he heard some thrashing and splashing. <gasps> Help! Something was saying. And you know what it was? Butterfly. Was it the butterfly? Yeah. And the butterfly was caught in a spider's web. Just by a couple of legs. Her wings weren't in it yet. But the spider was coming closer and closer. And Bernie looked at the butterfly and thought, Oh, that's a beautiful butterfly. I can't let that spider eat that beautiful butterfly. That's the prettiest thing I've ever seen. Oh my goodness, I've been locked in the basement all this time. I can't let that spider eat that beautiful butterfly. And he went running as fast as he was yelling, Stop, stop, stop in the name of the law. And he ran up to the <laughs> yeah. spider web. 
And then he started pulling the spider web apart and he grabbed the butterfly by the legs, pulled her out, and she said, Oh, thank you, thank you. If there's anything I can ever do for you, let me know. And Bernie said, Oh, it was nothing. You go on your way. You're just so beautiful to look at. And she Why flew away. It there, it? there it is again. Scratch it. I'm not going to scratch it. It's a beautiful little moth. Anyway, see what pretty colors it has? It lays eggs in our hats. No, no, not that kind. I don't think. That one belongs outside. Anyway, it's a very pretty moth. It looks like it's got little hearts on its back. Anyway. Bernie walked along some more, and he heard another noise of somebody going, help, help, help. And so Bernie thought, oh, I have to rescue somebody else. Okay. And he ran, and he looked, he couldn't figure out where it was coming from. And he found out, figured out that it was coming from inside and a bucket. And in the bucket was some water. And in the water was floss flailing about. A little wood bug. And Bernie the Beetle raced in there and he picked out the wood bug and he pulled it out and the little wood bug said, Oh, thank you, thank you. My name's Woody the Wood Bug. You know, I have such a bad memory, I couldn't remember where I lived, and so I just accidentally fell into this bucket. Well, thank you, thank you. What did you say your name was? And Bernie said, Well, my name is Bernie. And the wood bug said, Oh, my name's Woody. Well, thank you very much. What did you say your name was? <laughs> my name's Bernie. Oh, yes, my name's Woody, said Woody the wood bug. I first just was walking around. I couldn't find my house. I fell into, what was it? I, where was I anyway? And <laughs> Bernie the beetle said, There, there, Woody the wood bug. You stay away from that bucket, you hear? And, Bur and Woody the wood bug said, Oh, you broke buckets, buckets, buckets are bad news. Yes, I can remember that one. What did you say your name was? And he said, My name's Bernie. Bernie. Oh, how could I forget? Bernie, Bernie the beetle. Well, that's an easy one. I won't, f no one could forget that name. So off went and crawled Woody. Oh, by the way, Bernie, thanks a lot. Thank you for saving me. If you ever need some help, let me know. Oh, said Bernie. I don't think I could ever get help from that old wood bug, but that was very nice of him to offer. Well, he'd been going by and going by, and he crawled all the way up onto a porch, and he heard another voice going, mm, Help! Help! Oh, help! Help! And this time, you know, he saw was a wasp. A wasp. And a wasp was flailing itself against the window, bashing itself against the window, trying to get out. And Bernie was on the other side of this window, looking at him, thinking, wow, what's this? Oh yeah, it's a window. And Bernie thought, how on earth am I going to ever save that wasp? And Bernie saw but there was a sliding door not far away, and if he could just open the sliding door, he could get the wasp out. So that's what Bernie tried to do, and he opened the sliding door and called to the wasp, Hey, wasp, wasp, come over this way. And the wasp zoomed by and said, Oh, thank you. I thought I would stay in there and die. What did you, what's your name? And he said, my name's Bernie the Beetle. And the wasp said, well, my name is Willie the Wasp. And if you ever need any help, just call me. Now yeah. the next one is Simon the Spider. Simon the Spider? Okay. You guys remember Simon the Spider? Nope, but we'll add Simon the Spider. Anyway, so, Bernie, what, what was the matter with Simon? Oh, I'm, was he stuck in the sink? Ah, Simon would have been stuck in the sink. 
And there he was, another voice yelling, help, help. And it was Simon the Spider stuck in the sink. And Bernie rescued Simon the Spider out of the sink. And just as he rescued Simon the Spider out of the sink, and was thinking, well, I've had enough of this house because I've been in the downstairs for three weeks ever since I was born. And now I've been in the upstairs. And now I want to go back into the great outdoors where I truly belong. But he was just thinking to that to himself. When in walked a strange-looking man who had a mask, a little black mask around his eyes. And he was carrying a heavy sack. And he started looking around in a sneaky way and started putting things like the silver and the candlesticks into his sack. And Bernie realized, hey, that guy's not supposed to be in here. This is my house. I was born in this house. This is my place. What is he doing? He's stealing my candlesticks, that rotten rubber. And Bernie the Beetle got really mad. And he started thinking, how, how, how am I ever going to get this rubber out of here? And he said, I'm Simon, Simon, can you do something for me, Simon? And Simon said, anything, anything. Simon, climb up there over the robber's head and jump down on a silken thread right onto his nose and that'll give him a good scare and maybe he'll run out of the house. And then he started calling, Willie, Willie the Wasp, Willie the Wasp. And Willie came zooming in, whoa, what is it, what is it? He says, I need your help, there's a robber in the house, I want you to go. As soon as the Simon the Spiders landed on the nose of the robber, I want you to sting him right on the bottom. And Willie said, aye, aye, Captain, got it. And then he said to Wanda the Butterfly, well, I mean, what did the butterfly's name? It can all be W's. Bella. We'll call her Bella the Butterfly. Bella the Butterfly, Bella the Butterfly, we want you to come in and flutter all back and forth across his face. Can you do that? And flap your wings right in his eyes. And she said, okay, I can do that. And then, just as he was talking to Bella the Butterfly, who should come along but little with a woody wood bug? And he said, no, forget <laughs> Hey, Woody, he said, thinking he could trick the wood bug. There's a great place for you to live. There's a little cave right in that man's head. It's right under his hair. It's called an ear. Just go crawling up there and crawl right into the guy's ear, and I think you'll find it will be a nice home for you, Woody. And Woody said, you're right. I'd love to live in somebody's ear. And he started crawling up the robber's leg. And so... Just as Woody was just near the robber's ear, then Bernie gave the shout, Okay, everybody, let's go! And Bernie grabbed the robber's shoelaces and undid them and started tying them together with his great big strong and nimble hands. And uh, what else happened? Uh, I need the flashlight because we're still on filming. And Simon the spider jumped down at that time and landed right on the robber's nose. And Woody the wood bug jumped in the robber's ear. And um, the, uh, Willie the wasp started stinging the robber, not just on his bottom, but on his cheek, on his hand, on his neck, everywhere. And the robber started hopping up and down everywhere and going crazy. And while he was doing that, Bella the butterfly kept flopping into his face. And with a wood bug in his ear going, and Woody the wood bug was actually rather musical. And once he found the eardrum, he thought, oh, this is a great place to live. With his little legs. And then I got so many legs, I can make quite a rhythm here. And he was, and he was just making the robber crazy. And he was trying to run away. And he was trying to run away. But his shoelaces were tied together. And he landed wank right on his nose. And Simon the spider had to leap out of the way just right in time. And then Woody the... Uh, 
Bernie the Beetle grab. What did he have to time up with, Ben? What do you think? Damn. Mm -hmm. He grabbed the tablecloth and he ripped it into little sh into long strings and he tied the robber's hands up. And then he said, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to telephone the police and don't ask me how Bernie had figured it out maybe there was a phone downstairs in the basement that he used to watch the teenager use I don't know but anyway he knocked the phone off the hook and he dialed zero boing and the well, operator answered hello hello but all she could hear was the robber yelling help 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 and she traced the call and she sent the police over right away and the police came in there was the robber lying on the floor. And you know what they did? They arrested that robber and they took him away. And, and, the was Woody, and, and, Woody, and Woody. Woody went with him. And how Woody was rescued from the jail is another story. So just the tell me, and so just tell me how he did get rescued. How did he get rescued? <sighs> well, he doesn't get rescued until Bernie the Beetle gets made into an honorary policeman. Oh. And you know that that happens much later. Not much later. Good night. Good night. Time for a little bit. Only thing called the Shrek. Mr. Bear Shrek, I know what the one for Christmas. I'll show you. The one Mr. Christmas. I'll show you. Is it great for this one? No. Is this one? Yes. That's the one that's there for me. What's this? But is he coming? Yep, he's, he's coming with you. And how is this? What is in there? What's in there? Please. What's in there? Can I see what's in there? It's a camera. You're in there. No. Well, can I see? Mm, no, you're all wet. Can I see? There we are. Ben swimming lesson. There they are. Waiting for their teacher. Yep. Hi, Ben. That's my boy. Let me see if I'm Let's try these rides. And here we are at UBC Pool. And the kids have their lessons. We're right in here. The mothers sit over there. Hot pool. And there's the class.
some noodles now. Caught in the current, I think. this you can see and everybody else is waiting very patiently for the show to start okay but started. sadly the show's over already oh here we are at the ferry terminal Daddy, you please close my door? Benjamin's going crazy cuz there is the ferry we're just about to get on Okay, let's get in the ferry. He's recording us. Oh, and oh. magically we appear at Evan and Kieran's house. What do you say? It's the paparazzi. Yeah. Hello. Look at him go. Oh. Oh, he broke my car. 
Look at this, Evan is riding his bike, and what's behind him? What's that behind Evan? That's Daniel! Daniel! Hi! Evan's pulling Daniel in the wagon. Wave! You want to go slower? There's Bill and Heather's homestead. And over here is the bonus room where we get to stay. Inside that window. And here we are at Bill's beach. And look, the water carriers have come along. What are they going to do? There's a big castle that Ben made. With the help of Daniel and Kieran. And Big Daddy. And here goes the Raging River. Raging River. Wow, what fun. That means it's not going to have any. Had a lovely Sparrow. time. Wow. You guys, you have a good time? Yeah. Good. And look what happened. Look at the ruins of the Raging River. <laughs> oh. Whoa. oh, there's all his men. And guess who is the most knocked out? Who? Superman. Look, he's dug in the sand. Deep in the sand is the remains of Superman. We had a party on this beach last night, Bill and Heather's Beach, and the band played up there on the stage. I played up there on the stage. I played up there on the stage. <laughs> Crazy it Bill. There's our crazy Aunt Heather. Well, it's a good song. We should try that one. Yeah, we should. Probably should learn the whole uh, repertoire of that other band that is... Uh, what was the other yeah, band? I stole their, um, so stole their song. Oh, time. that's good. What, was their, what were they called? I don't know. We don't know. Man is it, man. <laughs> now there's Cousin Lauren. Hi. She might be able to. Did you know? Hi. Hey, you're supposed to look at me. Playing in the sand? Did you eat some sand? Did you? Lauren's shy. Did you eat some sand? I remember because you told me you were going to be away. It's the day after Daphne's birthday. I'm really not expected to remember all the way from the middle of Georgian Bay. <laughs> it's my birthday. <laughs> well, yeah, I did remember, and I knew it. And uh, but we, yeah, we at start, least I know I don't. Yeah. I, I, I haven't singled you out. You know I forget other things. Would you like another something? Oh, yeah. Hey Ben. Sherry. Yes. Yes. Now Matt and Chris and Owen are here on their way back from Pointe Barrow, Ontario in their cottage. And 
They're all dressed up as superheroes. Did you say how about? Yeah. Yeah. He's thinking of the next song. How about? What about? Can you do fringe on top? I know how. One. Okay. Let's do it now. Okay. Oh, white. Okay. Take it away, Dad. You gonna do the music? But well, what about, uh, do you know any of the ones, any of the lullabies that I sing you at night, like Mockingbird? Oh, uh, okay. Can you sing that one by yourself? Oh, uh, no, I can't. Oh. You know one, Daddy? You can sing Happy Birthday, you know that one. We need that food.
Mm. But I don't know the other parts. Yeah, well, yeah we it's a tricky song. Either. There's a lot yeah, of tricky parts. Hmm. Okay, Daddy's gonna give you an intro, Ben. Monday, Tuesday. Hmm? The first chord is C. Uh, okay, we're ready. Monday. Monday. Oh, just a minute. Monday, yeah, just say testing, testing, testing. Testing. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We gotta get Daddy ready now. Hold on. Dad's gonna give us the intro now. Monday, Tuesday. Okay. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But it's the week. Monday. Kira, Kira, make a move. Also, around a wash you. Mama, ducky, Kira, Kira, make a move. Also, around a wash you. That's Twinkle Twinkle Little Star in Japanese. Take a bow. Okay. Thanks, Ben.